<clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here um, to talk about some NFL. I'm here to recap the big uh, NFL game today that featured uh, two of the top teams in the AFC and fight for that number one seed. And ultimately, it was a freaking blowout. Uh, the Baltimore Ravens beat the Miami Dodds 56 56 19 reaction. Absolute dominance from the Baltimore Ravens to improve to 13 3 and clinch the number one seed, overall seed in the AFC, and we'll get a first round bye. So your NFC and AFC have been clinched San Francisco and Baltimore. Um, but Miami actually led 10 7 after the first quarter. I thought it was going to be a good game. But um, that second quarter, second quarter, man. Really did it in for a Miami. They were down 24 to 13 at a halftime. They gave up 21 points in the uh, second quarter. Tua didn't play well. Uh, 22 of 38, 237 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. I think he hurt his shoulder as well. But now. But now the Dolphins, they got to host the Bills for the AFC East next week at Hard Rock Stadium. They'll likely be without Bradley Chubb, Xavier Howard, Jalen Phelps, Jerome Baker on defense, and Jane Wall on offense. Raheem Mostert and a starting center, center could also be out. So they have a lot of injuries as well going into that game next week, which is for the AFC East title. And they just didn't lose this game. They got destroyed. Their defense, especially pass defense, were terrible. They, uh, it looks like they've lost Bradley Chubb to a potential serious injury. Uh, and... And a disaster on New Year's Eve. And Tua got dinged up. But two statement games from the Ravens and Lamar Jackson. He outplayed Purdy. Outplayed Tua. This is season, man. The Ravens, they got to make this run to, to Super Bowl. Anything less than that is a failure. They, they got to make the Super Bowl. Because anything else would be a failure, in my opinion. Anything else would be a failure. The Lamar Jackson's looked really good. But the the disturbing trend throughout Toe's career's Toe's career's performance in like December, January road games, it's not on him on him obviously. But consider Miami's record in such games a nine a nine game sample size of three and six, and one of those W's think the fits magic. So yeah, um, not a good game from uh, Toa. The defense was awful. But the Ravens are by far the best team in the AFC this year. We'll just have to see what they can do. Just a lot of guys are hurting for Miami right now. But Lamar is better than Toe, in my opinion. Lamar outperformed them. 18-21, uh, 321 yards, 5 touchdowns, no interceptions. What a hell of a game from Lamar Jackson. He's, he's going to be up there for MVP. Maybe if he wins it, I mean, I don't think he should. I think it should be Christian McCaffrey. That's a quarterback award, basically. But Lamar Jackson's throwing has really improved. And he has 24 touchdown passes now with 3,670 pass yards, with 821 rushing yards, and only 7 interceptions. We'll see if he wins the MVP. We'll see if he can do this in the playoffs. You know, historically, Lamar Jackson has not done this in the playoffs. So, I, I have to see it. But if he can do this in the playoffs, if he can, and their defense, which has been great all season, continues to do what they're doing, they're going to make the Super Bowl. Tyler Huntley, one pass, 19 yards, and a touchdown. So, six total passing touchdowns, man. They can't even fucking stop the backup. Um, Gus Edwards, 16 runs, 68 yards, 4.2 yards per carry, one touchdown. Justice Hill, 3 runs, 48 yards. Melvin Gordon, 6 runs, 10 yards, had a touchdown. So a touchdown for Mr. Gordon. Um, Lamar Jackson, 6 runs, 35 yards. Receiving wise, Zay Flowers, 3 catches, 106 yards, one touchdown. He's had a great rookie season. Isaiah Likely, 2 catches, 42 yards, 2 touchdowns. Rashawn Bateman, 4 catches, 54, 54 yards. Justice Hill. Five catches, um, 64 yards. Um, Charlie Kohler, one catch, 19 yards, and touchdown. Nelson Aguilar, two catches, 18 yards. Odo Beckham Jr., one catch, 33 yards. And Richard uh, Patrick Ricard, one catch, four yards. The fullback got a touchdown as well. Uh, they sacked two uh, three times. Had um, two interceptions, one from Marcus Williams, one from Geno Stone. Um, we mentioned two. Uh, Devin and Chain had a good game, I thought. 
Um, 14 runs, 107 yards, 7.6 yards per carry. So a great game from a, a chain, a chain, I thought. Jeff Wilson, um, 3 runs, 21 yards receiving. A chain had um, 4... Four catches, 30 yards, and a touchdown. Devin Smythe, or Durham Smythe, three catches, 54 yards. Try to kill, only six catches for uh, 76 yards. Probably the worst game of his career, in my opinion, for Tyreek Hill. Um, Cedric Wilson, uh, two catches, 27 yards, touchdown. So the two touchdowns were to a chain, and um, Cedric Wilson, Jeff Wilson, three catches, 13 yards. Alec Ingold. Uh, one catch, 18 yards. Barrios, two catches, 10 yards. And then Julian Hill, one catch, 9 yards. Uh, they got one sack uh, from uh, Sealer. They only sacked um, Lamar once. The offensive line was really good for Baltimore. They were able to do whatever they wanted. Had like 9 yards of play. They, did, they just did whatever they wanted. Forced three turnovers. Sacked two or three times. Just a great game for Baltimore overall drop. Miami to 11 and 5, Ravens 13 3. Ravens pretty much clinched the one seed here, and the Dolphins have a lot to play for next week. Still, they have, they have to win against the Buffalo Bills to clinch the AFC East. So it's going to be interesting. But the AFC now officially runs through Baltimore. They're, they're the AFC North champions as well. But um, yeah, it's really all safe for this video. So um, until next time, peace.